for Middle Tennessee. The 15 seed is going to take down the Michigan State Spartans. everyone to the pavilion at Old Miss, the greatest, most spectacular place in the country to watch college basketball. And and today is a very exciting day for Old Miss and especially for our basketball program. I want to thank Ross Bjork for his tremendous leadership of Old Miss athletics and his vision that got us here today to our introduction of Coach Kermit Davis, who's here with his, his yeah. <laughs> Coach is here with his wife Betty and daughters Allie and Claire and her husband Fletcher. And I also want to recognize some, yeah. I want to recognize some special guests, uh, two of our trustees, from the institutions of higher learning are here with us today, Dr. Ford Dye and Mr. Shane Hooper are over there. And my wife, so please applaud. I'll have a much better rest of the day today if you do. So when the search pro process began for head basketball coach, I asked Ross to really find a coach who has three key traits. First of all, a proven track record of building a successful and a lasting program. Second is really understanding the basketball landscape of the Southeastern Conference. And third is the leadership ability to model the core values and the creed of this great flagship university, not just to the student athletes, but to all students. And Ross has succeeded admirably. And here we are today, introducing Kermit Davis to all of you now, Kermit doesn't just check the boxes on these three traits. He embodies them. And Ross is going to tell you more in just a bit about Kermit. And really, his record speaks for itself. But one thing that continues to wow me is the unwavering respect that coaches and experts in basketball across the entire country have for the new leader of our basketball program. So on behalf of Rebel Nation, Sharon and I would like to welcome the Davises back to Mississippi and into the Old Miss family. Ross. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, uh, Chancellor Bitter. Greetings and welcome to Craddock Court at the Pavilion at Old Miss. We've got to make sure we give a shout out to our, uh, our family, Craddock family. You know, it really is a great day to be a, a rebel, and thank you all for being here as we celebrate and welcome the Davis family to the Ole Miss family, but back to Mississippi. I think that's very important to them, by the way. I want to thank uh, Chancellor Vitter for his support throughout this search process and, and really his leadership uh, throughout in, in leading our great university. I want to give special thanks to Coach Tony Madlock and our basketball staff for leading and coaching our team 
over the last couple weeks of the season. They did a, <laughs> absolutely. They did a terrific job leading our team and we appreciate all the, the hard work. We've got some of our players over here, guys, if you would wave, we want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you, guys. I know, I know we've got some former players. Uh, Coolidge Ball uh, texted me. I don't know if he made it or not. John Stroud, I heard John might be coming. I know we got the Kessingers down here. If you're a former player, basketball player at Ole Miss, would you stand or wave, be recognized, please? Come on. Yeah, I see John right there in, in the middle. We've also got uh, Dan Lebowitz from the Southeastern Conference. Dan oversees basketball for the SEC and has really led the, the vision and charge to, to bring this resurgence back of, of SEC basketball. I want to thank Keith Carter, our Deputy Athletic Director. Where's Keith? <laughs> Keith was with me every step of the way in the search. You know, when you've got your you're a name and banner and picture on the, the wall up here. That's pretty good to have in the interview process, uh, to have a great rebel like uh, Keith Carter and what he does for our athletic program. Also, Chad Chatlos from Ventura Partners. They were our search firm consultant, and they did a great job. We really had a great team throughout this entire search, and I'm thankful for everyone's work. So our quest was to find the next leader of Ole Miss basketball, and it was rather simple. Find the best coach and the best person who can create a new identity and a new beginning for Ole Miss basketball. I had to make sure that I was focused throughout this search, so I created a list. A list of characteristics that I believe a head coach must possess in order to be successful. Before and after every conversation that I would have about this job, I would look at that list and make sure that we were focusing on finding the best coach. It was important that we found someone who could live up to a high standard that we have set for this job. First, a proven winner. Second, someone who possesses a program identity. Third, a recruiting machine. And then player development. Next, interpersonal relationships with today's student athletes is a must. Then, someone who is committed to academics. They were disciplined. They were organized. They had passion leadership, and integrity. I'm proud to say that Kermit Davis checks the box on every single one of those characteristics. Absolutely. When, we, when I did interviews with our friends in the media right down here on press row, I talked about that our vision was to be a consistent NCAA tournament team who would compete for championships, wake up on Selection Sunday, where are we going? Not if, but where. And it, absolutely, thank you. And my thought, my thought was, if we can't visualize success and we don't believe, then who will? So it was important that we sought a leader whose vision aligns with ours. A coach who sees the grand potential of Rebel basketball. Someone who's not afraid to embrace this opportunity find ways to capitalize on the resources that are here in place. Knowing that we had a head start in the process, we were able to assess the entire landscape, speak to basketball experts across the country, determine who would be the best fit for Ole Miss basketball. Every time we turned around, the answer was consistent and matter of fact. Kermit Davis is the best coach, the best leader to take our program to the next level in the SEC and the NCAA. When you combine his brand of play, his proven ability to build a model basketball program, Coach Davis has established himself as a leader and winner in college basketball. Over the last several weeks, we consistently heard that other coaches never want to play his teams, and his record confirms that. Coach possesses a great sense of purpose and does it the right way off the court as well. I first met Coach Davis back in 2010, he probably doesn't remember, or he does remember, at the Sandestin Hilton at the Sunbelt Conference meetings. And despite the rivalry between Western Kentucky and Middle Tennessee, it's quite the rivalry, we're on the same team now, I always watched him carry himself and I said, you know what, that, that guy's got it. He 
He's got it. So our analysis, what made him perfect for the job? Several things stood out above everyone else. His teams play hard and they play together. They trust and they believe in their system. His style of play will travel. If you don't know, it's hard to win on the road, but his teams rebound and they play defense. They possess a great culture of discipline, accountability. They get it done in the classroom. Despite being the best team left out of the tournament this year, he built an NCAA tournament program at Middle Tennessee, not just a one-hit wonder who burst onto the scene. He built a program to last, and he'll do the same thing here at Ole Miss. He also led the charge to build fan support. And then when we talked to him, he said, you know what, how soon can we sell out season tickets here in the pavilion? He goes, I'll make the phone calls. So, Coach, we got a phone book for you. We know that his Mississippi roots will pay dividends for the entire university. He'll go anywhere and everywhere to sell Ole Miss basketball. He's got the hunger, the drive, the energy, and the vision for our program to be successful. So Betty, Allie, Claire, Fletcher, get rid of that maroon. <laughs> Coach Davis, the original Coach Davis, no more maroon. Clean the closet out, right? We want to welcome all of you to Oxford and the Ole Miss family. Please welcome your new basketball coach, Kermit Davis. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Nice. I got some, I got, I got some gifts for you. Thank you. So sit tight. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, hold on a second. Hold on one second. Okay. Before we get going, we've got some Kelly Wynn handbags for the ladies. Okay, Allie, which one do you want? Okay, Allie's got her pick. There you go, Fletcher, sorry, nothing for you. Coach, you don't have to put this on now, but Coach oh, is a big that. sport coat connoisseur. Thank you. And so we've got him a nice red Ole Miss sport coat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ross. And then we've got his own uh, clipboard with his name on it. <laughs> so he can I'll draw a place. You got it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ross. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank those, you. Those handbags are expensive. Thank you. Thanks so much, Ross. And uh, Dr. Vitter, Ross, thanks so much for the tremendous opportunity. I'm honored to be your coach. I am truly honored. And uh, I've been so impressed as the process went on by the leadership, you know, at the University of Mississippi and Ole Miss basketball. And I wanted to align myself with great leadership and administration at a prestigious university. And that's exactly what I did. And so I feel comfortable aligning myself, Dr. Vetter and Ross, and the leadership and the, the magnificent people that I've met and the support staff, uh, and have a vision to try to create a national brand for Ole Miss basketball, and we can definitely do it. Special thanks also, Ross Mint. Keith, thanks so much, all right? Keith Carter, he was uh, been instrumental. It's just unbelievable what he's done in our transition. Keith can get me to go to a human resource meeting. He's a stud. He got me to go to one today, all right, with a lot of things going on. Uh, but Keith, you know, if, when I was assistant coach at LSU, and I came to Tad Smith, and I've grown up watching Ole Miss basketball my whole life. And I watched, I came in at Tad Smith, and I don't think I've ever been in an arena where a fan base had an attachment to a team. And you, many of you guys were there. And it was Keith Carter and Ansu Cisse and Jason Reed, Michael White, and that arena was electric. Because you know what? You guys connected with that team. You identified with the passion and the energy and the relentless play that they had. And so I know as we go, and I've got Ronnie Hamilton and, and Win Case, and we'll hire some other fine assistants here. As we go out and look for players, that's who we'd like to epitomize right there. I mean, just his toughness. So thanks, Keith, for everything you've done, all right? The term Mississippi made, boy, does it fit us. Because when you get me, you get all of us. And they will come from all over North Mississippi right here. And we're going to sell a lot more season tickets for us just because of, of our family. You know, Mississippi made is, is my dad. I'd like to introduce Kermit Davis Sr. Stand up, Dad, right there. There you go, Dad. I grew up in a gym watching him coach. 
I knew at four or five years old that's exactly what I wanted to do. Dad grew up in Walnut. He said he grew up in Faulkner. I said, how much in the country was it? He said, we had to walk nine miles toward town just to go hunting. It was that far out in the country. So I said, that's in the country. My mother, Nancy, stand up, Mom. Nancy's from Sladen, Mississippi. Yep. Born and raised on a farm in Sladen, Mississippi. So North Mississippi is, is right in, in all their bloods. My brother, Bill, his wife, Keely, and Kirby and Ollie live in Olive Branch, uh, Mississippi, right there. My uh, sister, Jennifer. Where's Jennifer? Jennifer is in Tupelo, Mississippi, in the furniture industry right there. And then obviously, Claire and Fletcher uh, got married in June, and, uh, and they live in Tupelo also. So we're, we're, we are so excited about being back with family and friends. You know, Jim Valvano, he made a statement. He said in his SB speech, and you guys have watched it, he said, if you can do three things in one day and show emotion, you've had a heck of a day. You can think, which I've been doing a lot of thinking today. You can have a good cry. And honestly, I did shed some tears leaving a place that we loved in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And then if you can reach so much happiness and joy and great laughter and extreme excitement, which I've done it. And I've had three unbelievable emotions in one day. You know, we're attached to Middle Tennessee State University. We spent 16 years there. It was a community. And you'll find out, Betty and I are a family, that we want to do regular things around everyday people all the time. And we want to be a fabric of this community. That's just how we operate, and that's just how we work. And it was hard to leave Murfreesboro. It really was. I thought that was a place that I may be there for the rest of my life. And we had built a national brand in basketball at Middle Tennessee. And I would only leave to leave for a prestigious university and a place that I think is in the best basketball conference in America. And last year, we played here at Pavilion. I brought our team here. And I, I was walking and jogging the day of the game. And I just, I've, I've grown up, I've seen the, the campus here all my life. And you really are just amazed at the infrastructure here. That I can come to a basketball program here with my staff. And I told our players today in a team meeting how fortunate we are to be in a place. This right here per seat is the finest college basketball arena in all of America. And I know you know that. And we've been everywhere. And you go to the TUI Center where our offices and where our guys work out and the Manning Building, the FedEx Academic Center, on and on and on. And, and the things that, that Dr. Vitter has on the horizon with the infrastructure in our campus, that's the kind of place that I want to align myself with, a place that you don't have to do anything with facilities. It's there. You've got to sell it to your uh, recruits. And I told our players, I said, guys, how lucky we all are that we're right here. We get to come to work and go to school at this place every single day. I mean, we're going to try to take advantage of it every single day that we can. You know, at Middle Tennessee, and I hope that our brand, well, what is Ole Miss basketball going to look like? It's going to be relentless, athletic, explosive, a team that's going to, you're going to have to play all and on and on to beat. It's going to be a team that's going to be unselfish. We're going to play fast and smart in transition. We're going to try to get easy baskets. We're going to try to play with great body language. All right? We're going to be a team that respects the flag in the national anthem. All of those things from culture is what we're about. Okay? It's who, it's who we're going to be. Because we're going to have a team, and I'm telling you, I'm going to spend every ounce of breath of trying to sell every season ticket in here. Now think about it. You want to help us in recruiting and help our team. Because you cannot have a national brand without a national fan base. Then when your national fan base starts traveling to watch you play, now you've hit the national scene. The way that you can help us is this. is help our team win. We can sell, I think we sold under 5,000 season tickets. If we can sell 7,000 season tickets. Now, this Ole Miss Nation is, is good enough, we can do that. The time we play our first game on November 5th or 6th next year. That's something that we, I think, no doubt, that we can get done. It's got to be your help. And when you bring in recruits and they see this place rocking with the students and how they've aligned it right here, then you know what you do? Then you start directly affecting recruiting. And when a national fan base can affect wins and they start affecting recruiting, now everybody's in it together, and that's what we're trying to do. At Middle Tennessee, you'll see an academic culture. Uh, in May, we'll have four guys graduate. It'll be 52 straight players in a row that have received their degree at Middle Tennessee. Over the last, thank you. Uh, the two years before this tournament, and I do, I thought we got snubbed, but that's just that's the life of a mid-major. It's going to be so nice to be in the Southeastern Conference. 
But the last two years, there was six teams in college basketball that won a game in the first round of the tournament and had a 100% graduation rate. Villanova, Duke, Notre Dame, Butler, Kansas, and Middle Tennessee basketball. So we're, gonna, we're not only going to hopefully uh, please you with our efforts on the court, but we're going to bring an academic culture uh, here. And, and that's what it's all about. And I'm going to be brief. What is building a, nat what is building a brand? Everybody talks about a brand. H how do you build a brand? What is a brand? Well, to me, a brand is a promise delivered by your experience. So you're in the stands. We can, we can give you a vision of the brand. We can give you a vision of how those guys right there are going to look when they get on this court next year. We can show you the brand. We can tell you. But you know what it is? It's a promise delivered by the experience that you watch. And then you know who creates the brand? You guys do. The fans tell each other what the brand is. It's not what the coach says it is. The fans tell each other what the brand is. When you guys are leaving the pavilion, you tell each other what you think the brand and the product that we put out. And I hope it's toughness, I hope it's passion, I hope it's energy, I hope it's great body language, and I hope it's winning. And I hope it's high tempo, high action play. So that's what we're trying to do. The Ole Miss University has an unbelievable national brand. It's known throughout by all the students that come from every state in the country to come to our school right here. But what we're going to try to do is try to create a national brand. I think this, I'm replacing a good friend of mine, Andy Kennedy, the all-time winningest coach in the history of this school. And Andy, this uh, he is. Andy and I have talked. You, I mean, he, he's unbelievable how giving he is and his love for this university, and you know that. I mean, just the things that he's told me about you guys, the positive things, and some of the things that he thinks that can help us be successful. So, oh, and I promise you, Andy Kenny is going to be a Hall of Famer here. He'll be in the Mississippi Hall of Fame before his day is over, I'll guarantee you that. All we're going to try to do is we're going to try to build on the era that Andy brought basketball into the pavilion. And that's what we're going to try to do, is we're going to build on that. You know, I watched, I watched, I told our guys, I watched you beat Florida. I watched you beat Alabama. I watched you beat Mississippi State right here. I watched you go to Missouri and win. I watched all of that, okay? And there were some great moments this year in basketball. Now, what do we have to do, guys, to make this consistently all the time? an everyday product, where every day we're at that level all the time. And I hope that uh, we're going to add some pieces in the spring, uh, the individual player development with these guys working. And if we can do that, and if the best players that are sitting over there will be receptive to coaching, we're going to win games next year. We'll win games next year in a really, really tough league. So the brand is what you say it is, and we've got to all do it together. Uh, the last thing I'll say is that uh, everybody says, well, how does it feel to put on a red tie? I said, boy, it felt good, I'm telling you. I'm going to wear that red blazer high. I promise you this, there's a lot of great Ole Miss people in this room. Nobody wants to beat Mississippi State's tail more than Kermit Davis. I'll guarantee you that. I promise you that. I promise you that. All right? You know, I've been listening to this chant all of my life, okay? All of my life. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn right. Hotty, tidy, gosh, somebody, who in the hell are we to say? Flim, flam, bim, bam, oh, miss, by damn. I've been going to say that for a long time. <laughs> I promise you, it feels better to say it than it does to listen to it, okay? I'm honored to be your coach. I look forward to meeting all of you. Thanks for being here. Thank you.